about three seconds to tell me where the other ones are, bub. Or what? <laughs> We're gonna get dicey. I don't think you'll do it. Ah! But you didn't let me tell you where the other ones were. I can smell them already. <laughs> that intro is of my buddy Immortal Coil from the Rookie Critics Run Tomatoes skit. Check it out. And while this isn't an appreciation video, I do want to highlight my friend Immortal Coil. He's a great guy with interesting content. He likes to not just review entertainment, but to deeply analyze it, revealing the spiritual nourishment it may provide. If you love Star Wars or Wolverine, check him out. And if you live in the Northwest of America, hit him up on Twitter so y'all can meet up. Though I haven't had a chance to meet him in person myself, we've spoken countless hours off air. He's truly a great friend to have. Subscribe and get him past his first 100 subs. So, why am I talking about Immortal Coil so much? Isn't he just some white dude? Perhaps. <laughs> but he also has a great wealth of X-Men knowledge and keyed me into reading X-Men Fatal Attractions. I'm currently on the third issue and had a small epiphany. In issue two, Xavier is going on air with a senator who is ambivalent or perhaps opposed to mutants, along with an outright anti-mutant bigot as well via satellite feed. Given Xavier's smarts and genes stating they need their own guys to counter senators like Kelly, it dawned on me, why wouldn't Professor X manipulate the media to aid the mutant cause, to assuage the negativity of mutants and limit or stop the various hurts? That answer is very simple. Professor X is not an SJW. What's interesting, at least so far, is that X seems to be under the radar as a mutant in this volume. Theoretically, he could manipulate the masses and make it easy for everyone. Professor X, I think, knows that if he crosses that line, it excuses ill-willed persons to do the same thing. With his intellect, I think he also is aware that power corrupts and takes a sort of Gandalf approach to the dilemma, knowing that level of power is beyond one person. Disney has manipulated Captain Marvel perception with Rotten Tomatoes, and by placing her adjacent to Endgame, and also creating a superhero drought or deficit, making fans go from July to March to see a new hero, all to benefit the box office. YouTube has steered the algorithm to avoid us trolls, and the media has been overjoyed. Political hopefuls have discussed legislating negative movie reviews. SJWs want to legislate quote-unquote hate speech, not, really, not realizing someday they'll be penalized by their own laws. Take any political or cultural argument and analyze the SJW solution. It's always something that sounds nice or kind, but is always misguided at best and fascist-like at its worst. This is why Charles is a great character, perhaps a liberal, but not an SJW. He never seeks to manipulate the masses' minds, even for good intent. And if a circumstance necessitates it, he has some remorse for bypassing free will. He understands the ethical implications and works to earn support. With that said, read X-Men Fatal Attractions and sub to Immortal Coil. Thanks for joining. I just added to the merch store the Black Angus Bovine Beauty and the Philly Eagles Fly Angus Fly items. So check them out on my Teespring store or consider becoming a patron to support the channel. Thanks.